Welcome back everybody to Forza Motorsport 7. So yeah, we're going to be doing the uh, Birth of Grand Prix series today. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the car we're going to be using. Took over. Racing for country was as important as racing for the checkered flag. Now, these drivers were often funded by their home governments. And they carry the dreams of their nations through every lap. So yeah, we're going to be using the 1950 Alfa Romeo 158. This is a new car to the Forza series. And uh, yeah, I've given it uh, 20 extra horsepower. And it's got 275 pounds feet of torque. It only weighs 1,557 pounds. And uh, yeah, they're the uh, stats. So uh, fairly decent handling and braking for the uh, car from the time. But obviously it is upgraded. So yeah, they're not uh, stock uh, figures. So yeah, let's get going. So yeah, we're going to be on the circuit of the America's Grand Prix circuit. Which is, you know, apt for the uh, uh, series that we're doing. Uh, I'm keeping on all those... Uh, Improved race rewards, uh, legendary mods, because you know it gives you 300 extra percent on your uh, credits. And yeah, we've got two laps, 3.42 miles a piece, so it's a longer circuit than we've uh, been on before in previous uh, series. But yeah, we've got plenty of other different cars that we're going up against. It's a yeah, wide variety, quite frankly. We've got cars from the 30s and cars from the 50s. None from the 40s, because obviously World War II was around and yeah, racing wasn't really at the uh, top of the uh, agenda, quite frankly, at that time. But yeah, so let's get going. So yeah, even though there have been upgrades on this car, I've widened the tyres, I've made, got better suspension, better anti-roll bars. It's got a lighter drive line and obviously some more power, but... It's still an old car at the end of the day, so don't expect the best handling in the world. Hopefully because they are light and they have quite a lot of power, they're not least fast. So yeah, we've got the uh, Audi Auto Union, or DC Auto Union. And the Maseratis. An older Alfa Romeo beside us there. Yeah, I'm really glad that they've put these kind of cars into Forza Motorsport games. Obviously, it's not the first time I've had these old open wheel cars, but we've certainly got the most amount of got the most amount of these kind of cars that we've ever had in a Forza Motorsport game before. Some that are missing, but for a uh, car group that is really rather quite old, really rather rare, doubt there's many of these alphas around anymore. It's a pretty decent amount of cars. I like that paint job that that guy's got the, uh, from the Fallout 4 DLC. thing I like about these cars is that the future, the future engines that you really don't see anymore. And this has got a straight eight engine, which is supercharged. So yeah, that's not a kind of engine you see anymore around at this time. Kind of struggling to make our way for the field here. Probably didn't pick the fastest of the cars in this. Uh, class. As you can see that Ferrari is absolutely blitzing us and that's a uh, car from the same kind of period as this. So. Hoping that my handling makes up for it though.
Oh dear. See, that's a danger of these cars. Getting your wheels interlocked. Luckily, it doesn't, on this game, simulate the actual effects of hitting an open wheel on an open wheel at great speed, which usually results in the cars flipping or at least jumping in the air. A lot of these guys either had a lot of power from stock or have invested in more power. So that car up front is the same one as this one. Well, evidently it's a lot quicker. These cars are cheaper than they would have been in previous Forza games. They are still quite expensive at half a million. This was half a million itself. Don't know whether or not any more of these cars are any dearer than that. Half a million on this game is still a fair bit. It's not the same car as me, that one. It's a Mercedes. See, I get them mixed up, because from behind, a lot of these cars look the same with the uh, tapered off rear end. So yeah, we'll have to settle for seventh there. So not the best start to a series that we've had. But could have been worse, especially given how far behind we were in the first lap. We were just struggling to get through the pack, quite frankly. So yeah, seventh place start. So yeah, it could have been worse, but... It's a shame that it couldn't have been a little bit better there. But, you know... Hopefully we'll uh, do better in the uh, next race. Right, so we're at Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuit, obviously, and uh, yeah, three laps, 2.43 miles apiece. Uh, it's going to be raining, so uh, yeah, these cars are tricky enough to drive even in the dry. So with rain on a circuit like Brands Hatch, which is quite close in terms of width of the track, it might be a little bit difficult, but you know, hoping that it'll at least uh, throw up some good racing. Yeah, we don't have all that many mods left on here at the moment. Might have to buy some more. But then it comes across a bit like a false economy, really, at times. So it's dry at the moment, but it will be raining most likely by the uh, time we uh, finish. We'll make our way through the pack a little bit better this time. Again, gonna have to make it up in the corners. We are not that fast on the straights. Certainly not slow, but compared to these guys, we are a little bit on the uh, back foot. problem with this, don't really have all that much torque going for us. So coming out of corners, etc. We're not really pushing ourselves. Need 
terms of horsepower, you look at the Auto Union even stock, it's nearly 500 horsepower, so... Really, I imagine it's well over that. At least want to improve upon our uh, position from the last race. Don't want to be stuck in seventh for whole time. Oh god, screwed that corner up last time. I'm hitting the just a slight off on the grass. It's enough to you know, spin us out. Better out of that corner than the Ferrari, but it's undoubtedly going to overtake us. Yep, there we go, on the straight. Never get that corner right. <laughs> and again, it's hitting that uh, grass side. It just throws you off. It's grass on this game simulated very well when it's wet. Extremely slippy surface. May as well be ice, quite frankly. Just about lost on fifth place, but we've improved slightly on our uh, position in the first race, so we should hopefully move up in terms of the leaderboard position overall. But yeah, not as good as I would have hoped. But none of these series are guaranteed to go 100% my way, because you know it all depends on the car, on the upgrades that you've made, and the competition that you're uh, going up against. But we are in fifth place now, we've moved up two places, so we are at least in the top five. So, uh, yeah, all good on that front. I just want to save the replay. But, yeah. Save the replay, not view it. Uh, but, yeah, these cars are a tricky uh, beast to uh, tame, quite frankly. Which is no surprise when you consider how old they are, how much power they're dealing with, how little in the way of weight. This car weighs less than 1,600 pounds we're having to deal with. So, yeah, bound to be tricky. But, yeah, let's move on to the next race. Right, so we're on Yas Marina circuit, full one, so two laps, 3.45 miles. Got quite a long straight on it, so we might struggle in that regard.
but yeah, it's a fun circuit this one. But again, like previous ones, it can get quite narrow in places, and when you're dealing with this many cars, even though they're not as large as those muscle cars in that nostalgic drag racing series, there is still plenty of them. But nonetheless, hopefully we uh, do a bit better this time around. Certainly not going to rain, so got grip on our side. Several places there, but this is where we're going to struggle. Once again, Ferrari overtaking. And now the Auto Union. That thing absolutely has all the power in the world, even when stock. So, going for a car with a decent amount of power from stock probably would have been the wiser move to go for. But this car is new to the series, and I really wanted to try it out in a racing environment. So. Certainly didn't expect them to put in more open wheel vehicles on this on, in the Forza series. But I am glad that they did. Hopefully it means that we get some more of these classics. Oopsie. I do apologize for that. But I'm desperate to get into a good position for at least for one race this episode. Right, can we prove again our uh, position from the previous race? That's entirely my fault there. We wanted to adjust the mistake.
damn. Yeah, maybe that dive was not the uh, most appropriate thing to be doing, but I wanted to get ahead. <laughs> and I've completely outbraked myself there as well, because I wasn't expecting the guy to move out of the way. So, yeah, do apologise for that, but it is racing, mistakes are made. Try and hold on to our first top five showing of this series. Well, a little bit accident prone that uh, race there, but we have improved massively upon the last race by two places, so that is all good, but yeah, need to work on uh, not crashing so much, obviously. Yeah, hold on to fifth place, even though we did get fourth, but we are only 20 points behind fourth place and only 60 points behind third, so still within a chance, I hope, of... Uh, progressing even further, so let's do the uh, final race for this episode. So we're at Autodroma Nazionale Monza, full circuit. So this is another extremely, uh, you know, fast paced circuit. So, as a result, I'm going to try and put some more power in this thing. Let's knock off the things that we don't really need. See if we can get a little bit more power in it. Um, doubtful, to be honest. A lot of these upgrades put a hell of a lot of power in it. Maybe if we get reduce the front tire width. Yeah. So we we'll sacrifice a little bit of handling for some extra power. Nineteen. Oh, I can't get that because that's forty. Eight. Right, we'll do with that. That'll be fine. Well, we can uh, knock a bit of weight out again. Right, so we still weigh about the same, but handling is ever so slightly worse. But hopefully it will have a uh, positive effect. Right, so three laps this race, 3.6 miles each. So hopefully that's enough to help us uh, have enough time to at least get into the uh, top three this time around. Now, we're enacting public lobbies there. Somebody's gone off, so someone, someone else. Lucky. Found someone else there as well. It's helpful for me. Make up places where I don't have to actually overtake. And track, that's fine, man. 
seems like this extra power has given us a little bit of extra oomph and a little bit of a more competitive edge. To be honest, the handling doesn't feel all that much worse. By far in the best position that we've been in in our first lap. Bye-bye, Maserati. Yeah, it's noticeably faster. I'm surprised we're still fairly decent to the handle. So obviously we have reduced our grip a little bit. Especially on the front end. We aren't as fast as some of the other cars still, but we have shrunk the gap. Unfortunately, we top out 165, which I imagine most cars here do not. We can't actually change the gearbox on this car for some reason. So we have to stick with the four speed. We're in our first podium position of the series, which isn't something to be all that happy about overall, but at least we have finally made it into that kind of position. Hopefully we can catch up to the front two leaders. That's a Maserati up front and colour me surprised because they are massively more powerful than this car with a stock, so I would have expected it to be an Audi oh, well, I keep saying Audi because they technically are, but I would have expected an auto union to be up front. Considering they have probably the most power in stock. Break 200 mile an hour, so I would expect them to be up front, but maybe they have too much power for handling wise. Finally in first.
have quite enjoyed this series so far, just because I've noticeably improved over every race. So I like it. I like seeing improvements. It's going to be a struggle getting into the uh, top three anyway, even with this win. I imagine. But again, it depends on the placing from everyone else in the race. Well, I've come last, and uh, that would have well, harmed my leaderboard position overall. But I'm just glad we finally won <laughs> a race on this uh, series so far. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Nice, healthy 350 points. Which puts us into second place. And we're only 70 points behind uh, Mr. Maserati that was in the lead originally. So, uh, yeah. We're uh, moving our way up quite a, uh, a way there. But yeah, we're going to leave it there. We'll do the final two races in this uh, series in the next episode. And we'll probably do a uh, showcase event as well. Or we'll start a new series. But either way, uh, I've enjoyed this episode. No, we haven't been all that successful. But we have uh, stuck it out. And we have you know made a few changes here and there with the car. To hope, which has evidently uh, made a, a noticeable improvement. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to do the final two races in this alpha in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.